Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone's well. I know I said in the Libra reading that that was going to be my last one for the night, but you know, I lie to myself all the time. I'm going to go for one more. And since I'm not making any decisions right now, because my brain doesn't want to, I'm going to let the cards decide who we read. So, just mix them up a little bit here. Nope, not making decisions. It's the end of the day on Monday. I've had a very long four days at my bread and butter job and my brain is fried. Sagittarius, you're up! <laughs> Gonna get good now. I hope so. We'll see what happens. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I am not playing favorites. Stop it. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, it might not. It's general. It's not going to resonate with every Sagittarius. I have flippers. Why do I have a flipper? Ace of Wands has decided to flip out in the reverse. We'll see if it flips back out. Okay. Where was I? It doesn't resonate, that's okay. It might not resonate with every Sagittarius. Check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you want to find something that may or may not resonate a little bit better. All depends on where the stars were aligned when you were born, really. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And cross-watchers, my friends, you guys are always welcome here. So come on in and have a seat. Okay, a couple more quick shuffles. We're going to get them on the table for Sagittarius. Why are you here, Sagittarius? King of Pentacles in the reverse. That offer wasn't so rosy and abundant, was it? Might have been a little bit overblown. Or something has ground to a screeching halt in your life. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of swords in the reverse. Their thoughts are with someone or something else. You feel like they may be making a return. They could be returning to you, or they could be returning to something else. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. What do you think of them? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You think they're just not putting the work in. Either they're not work focused, or they're not putting the work into the connection like you think that they should be. What do you want from them? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh boy. I get worried when I see this. Hmm. That's the house plant and just couldn't get to grow in the house. We're going to throw a clarifier on that before I say anything else. How, how do they feel about you? World in the reverse. They feel like you have something you haven't closed out yet. What do they think of you? Ace of Cups. Now, <clears throat> they think this could go somewhere. They think this has potential. What do they want from you? Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, well... Let's throw a clarifier on that. Someone's being ignored. Someone's concentrating too much on the past and not seeing what's being presented. 
Maybe they want you to see it. We'll throw a clarifier on it. What's the challenge here? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Complete emotional detachment and a closing off. Sagittarius, I say this out of love because I'm guilty of it too. Y'all know how we get. Mm hmm. When something isn't quite going the way we want it to, switch! Mm. On or off like a switch. You know how you are. Don't think that you don't. Because I know how you are because I are you. This is a switch thing. Fine. You don't like me. I don't like you. Moving on. What can be done? The star. I love this. A healing needs to take place here. Energies actually need to flow the way that they're supposed to. Something's being choked off. Let's get some clarity. Mm, I like you today. We're going to clarify with you. I haven't clarified with you yet. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the future for Sagittarius for the second half of June, please? Second half of June. No intention whatsoever. The Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups popped out. I'm going to see if they pop back out. Let's try that again. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Chariot in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse. Might be a Cancer you're dealing with, possibly another fire sign. I got everybody at this point. Six of Swords reversed. Might be an air sign. They might you might feel like they're a little bit flighty. Avoiding conflict being torn in two different directions, possibly. Like, their thoughts are with someone else, and they're just trying to avoid conflict at this point. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Okay. Two of Pentacles in the upright, Eight of Pentacles in the upright... Might not be putting work into the connection, but they're definitely working their ass off and trying to find balance elsewhere. They could be very work focused, maybe trying to pay their bills. So the focus isn't on the connection. They got a lot of shit going on. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here for how you? you feel about the person, or sorry, what you want from the person that you're dealing with. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for what Sagittarius wants? It's fun. This is the position it wants to be in. Prince of Wands. Okay. 
You want to know what's going on? Are you in or are you out? What, what are we doing here? The world. Okay. You want to know, is this going to go somewhere? Is this going to be abundant? Are you in or are you out? Is, you know, is this the end? Are we starting something or are we ending something? What are we doing? I think you just want to know what direction this is going in at this point, Sagittarius. Okay. Why is... Why is the world reversed here? It fell out. Seven of Cups reversed. How do you feel about you? They might be kind of getting the same vibe, feeling the same thing. Um, they feel like you haven't closed something out yet. There's confusion. They may conf be confused about how they feel about you. They may be confused about how you feel about them. One more. Lovers popped up. They definitely feel a connection. They definitely feel it mutually. The connection is there. But they also understand you have something you haven't closed out yet. In Sagittarius, I say this out of love. We're not good at closure. Not at all. It's not something we do. It's a switch thing. It's on and off like a light switch. Oh, you haven't talked to me in three days? Well, pff, I'm gone. We do it all the time. We struggle with emotional involvement. We, it's almost like we're horrified by it. <laughs> we don't want to invest that kind of time in something emotionally because we get hurt very easily. It's that damn fire sign energy. It's the spitfire thing because if we, emo if we get emotionally involved, then it goes to the powder keg thing and where we pound our emotions down and pound our emotions down and pound our emotions down until we just explode. And we don't want to get to that point. So we avoid that by shutting it on and off like a light switch. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here for what the other person thinks of Sagittarius? You want to talk. Hi. Five of Cups reversed. There's definitely potential here for something, but you're coming out of a state of sadness in their eyes. You're having a hard time seeing the blessings still. You're coming out of it. It is in process. You're not there yet. Five of Cups reversed is also indicative of ignoring feelings. Eight of Wands reversed. You're not that good of a communicator. There's, there's, there's a forward movement issue because things aren't being said. It's almost like an avoidance thing. If you avoid, if you avoid getting your emotions involved, you avoid getting hurt. Okay. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here for what the other person wants from Sagittarius? Death reversed. Hi, yay, yay. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Sagittarius, you may have been kind of, I don't know, concentrating very much on the past and ignoring what they were trying to give you. Ignoring that little cup of love or that little cup of potential. And there, there, there's an evolution that needs to take place here. You need to get past the person you were before this person came along. Because you're still very much that person. This connection has the potential to be able to change you, and you're not allowing that. They want you to allow that change. 
They want you to release that burden and recognize yourself for the catch that you are. They want you to see yourself how they see you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? All right. Why is the Queen of Pen Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Strength could be a Leo you're dealing with. The obstacle here is the polarities and differences in the relationship. It is the trust. You don't quite trust this yet, Sagittarius. You're emotionally closing yourself off to it, or they could be. Maybe they've been hurt a thousand times, and they don't want to be hurt again. All things could be vice versa. I don't mean to just point the finger at Sagittarius. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But the issue here is trust. Trusting them, trusting yourself, trusting your judgment. That lion could rip her head off at any time. And he's purring like a kitten. Because they trust each other. It's trust. One more. One more. Hi. Oh, where'd you go? There you be. Eight of Cups. Forward movement. Processing feelings. Processing feelings. You know you got to process the pain to get to the happiness, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to process the pain to get to the happiness. The Eight of Cups is the hard part. The moving on. The Nine of Cups is the emotional fulfillment, and the Ten of Cups is the bonus. you got to process the Eight. You gotta not allow yourself to be so emotionally closed off and trust yourself again. Why is the star here? Healing. Healing. Why is the star here? Alchemist reversed. Okay, it landed this way. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> what needs to be done, stop manifesting shit. If you manifest, okay, every other relationship I've ever had has gone south, so I'm just going to wait for this one to tick out. That's what you're going to get. Stop manifesting shit into your life. If you're going to manifest shit, let it be good shit. Don't let it always be bad shit. And be patient. I know you're a Sagittarius. We don't do patience. But you gotta be patient. You have to allow the healing process. And that takes time. I'm sorry. But it's just the way it's gotta be. You're the one pulling the puppet strings in your own life. So make your puppet do a happy dance. Not a sad sack dance. Just saying. Let's get you right. If I can make words work right now because I'm that exhausted. Let's get your advice. The three of cups reversed and the hierophant reversed. Okay. Okay. There's a life lesson here. Oh, wow. That's an epiphany. Nobody wants to be around an unhappy person.
but don't isolate yourself from your friends and everyone else. Don't, don't disconnect yourself from the people that matter in your life. Does that make sense? You have to learn to live again. If you want to connect with the person you're supposed to be with, you have to connect with yourself. The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. It's okay to keep your guard up, but don't keep your guard up so hard that you don't take a cup. Granted, it's the Knight of Cups. It may, may or may not be committal. It might be a commitment, it might not. But you don't know unless you take the cup. It's okay to give and receive. It's okay. It's part of the gamble. It's part of the journey. The Nine of Cups reversed and the Six of Wands in the reverse. <sighs> Be mindful of overindulgence. Fill your cups with the right things. Yes, I'm talking to you. Fill your cups with good, right things, positive energy. Avoid things that you enjoy a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Like cookie dough ice cream and a six pack of beer. Binge watching 80s movies. Yeah, avoid situations like that. <laughs> because they could lead to not so victorious moments. Don't knock the wind out of yourself because you're sad. Oh, the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Oh, okay. Well, If something feels a little bit sketchy, it might be. Hold on. Hold on. I may have to read four together. Okay. If something feels a little bit sketchy. Be wary and be mindful, but don't invent red flags that aren't there either. Just be mindful of what match you strike. The Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is in the upright. He, this is a happy card. This is a happy card. The Hierophant is a teacher of life, uh, is a teacher of life lessons. He also marries people, but that's neither here nor there. It's a card about connections and connecting with yourself and making yourself happy. You don't necessarily need a connection to be happy. You have to be happy with yourself for other people to be happy with you. It goes back to the beginning of the advice, nobody wants to be with a sad sack. I love you to death. I really do. Don't take what I'm saying the wrong way. I'm just reading cards. Okay, guys. I'm whipped. Wow. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the second half of June. I love you guys to bits. You know I do. You guys have been so wonderful. I love my saggy friends. Because I can be open and honest with you guys. Because you know how you are. And hopefully I didn't offend anyone because I really didn't mean to. But I totally get it. It's self-preservation. 
and it's our greatest weakness. And it's something that I've been desperately trying to transcend for years. Maybe I'll get there, maybe I won't. Um, know that you loved. Be blessed. I love you guys to bits. Thanks for stopping by. And I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks for the first half of July. Okay? I'll see you next time.